Hey guys, in today's video, we'll show the process of modeling a hard surface piece. We'll train your skill by creating a complex model. If you like the content, subscribe to the channel, leave your like and comment here what I would like to see in the next videos. So, let's go to class! Let's start by using an object from the Extend Primitive tab. Select Hydra, click and drag to create the shape. In family parameters, we'll change the Q to 0.7 and convert the object. I will select some triangle, and with the Select Similar tool, we'll select the object similar to it. It is available in the modeling panel, modify selection and in similar. We invert the selection and use the extrude in the by polygon option. We adjust the size and again invert the selection and we can delete this face. Now we will select all the face and in rotation mode we will change the gizmo to local and center the face. Make sure to enable this option in the panel and change the z-axis to 35. We can return the gizmo to view again. Now with the bridge let's connect the z's. Once that is done, add an open subdivide modifier, the spherify modifier, and again the open subdivide modifier. Here we add an edit poly and adjust some vertices. We use the add constraint to adjust the vertices. We can return the constraint to none, and now in the face modes, we will select the central face and apply on relax. I will use the value of 100 in interactions. Let's add a thickness to this part with the shell, and again add an edit poly. We'll select the face of the ads. And apply an extrude with the normal option. We remove these lines. And select the edge of the ads to apply a chamfer. With the ads still selected, we will select some more ads to apply a new chamfer to keep in the edge hard. Once that is done, let's add a squeeze mode fire to change the shape of the model. Set a value close to minus 0.3. Above, we apply the twist to apply a twist to the shape. 180 is a good value. After that, we add a new edit poly. Let's position this vertex closer to the center of the shape and align them with the vertex on the back. Do this using the edge constraint so as not to deform the shape. Let's do the same on the back part. and also on the other side of the piece. Now, select all the points.
we can remove the constraints and apply on chamfer to these vertices. Hold down Ctrl K and switch to the face mode to keep in the selection in this part of the model. Let's go to shrink and then transform the face into a circle. Here, we will see that this face is distorted. Let's adjust it using rotate and the gizmo in local align mode. This way, we can adjust the face correctly. Now, we will select all the face and apply on bridge to create the hole between the face. We change to the add modes and apply on chamfer to the edges of the holes. Finally, we will add the open subdivide modifier. I will make just one more adjustment to this part, adjusting the curvature of the model correctly. We will do the same on the back part. And that's it, the model is finished. I hope you enjoy the contents. Here are some video suggestions for you to continue on the channel. Bye! Subscribe to the channel, it's very important.